So I came in here with a hand drill, drilled a hole through for the taper pin we're going to drop in. And pretty sure we need to go a little more, may need to go a little more after this, but you just go through there and uh, sometimes they're hard to pull out if you're not rotating them. I prefer the left hand spiral as this one is. I also found out I had a few less spare reamers than I thought I did. I think I'm going to order some more. <clears throat> Pull out the hole. And that's just a trial fit. But you don't want to get it to where it's all the way down. We'll go a little deeper, but you always want to leave some because when you tap it in, it gets shorter. You definitely don't want it below the hole. I want to try and get the biggest diameter I can on this one. It's just sort of, you know, I got to pay Bert to come do this, but, and I know to some people it's interesting, um, but to me, this is pretty simple. We'll do the other side. We'll show you how it ends up later on. And my dad had one thing to say about that, though, was he had many times when I'm working, he said that uh, work has always fascinated him. He said, I can sit down and watch people work all day long. It's fascinating. I know, that didn't seem as funny as, as the way he told it, but you know, we each have our way. It was funny when dad told it to me because he really led me on, made me think that he was talking about wanting to work himself, being fascinated by it. And then he said he could, actually he didn't say said, he said he could stand and watch it all day long. Anyway, <clears throat> tapered pins, we'll, uh, we'll get one that's in here and I won't knock it in all the way till I've got one on the other side, just in case there's a slight uh, offset since they're pushing different, different directions. And uh, then we'll move on to the next thing after that. I got one other thing I could do here, but I think I'll hand this over to Austin first and let him go ahead. And there's some oil grooves that need to be in here. Oil hole drilled through, groove in the bearing. A little, little bit of work here and there, yeah. And if you push your pin in and it gets too tight, you just, as long as you're working with long enough ones, you tap it back on the end. So we'll run it in a little further. Huh. So we're going to watch. Okay. We can do that. And I drive these with drill motors and different things at different times. This is pretty handy right now. One thing where I don't want to go too far, because I don't have any bigger pins. I'm going to get to that larger diameter of that pin, but uh, I don't have any that are any bigger in brass. And I don't know why. Look in older catalogs, brass ones were pretty popular. I think the hand fitting is just not as much of a normal thing these days as it used to be. Hand fitting, mill riding work, scraping bearings, all that stuff. Probably want to go a little bit more, but I'm going to grab a little tapper and just see what I think of that. Thought I was going to grab my dad's, dad's a little tapper. This one actually uh, came from somewhere else. Yeah, we want more yet. Also had some regular tap drivers. This is a square socket, square drive socket. I had regular tap drivers too, but they were bigger on the outside. 
so my angle would have had to been a little more angled. I wanted to try and get as straight as I could in here. I'm going to call that good enough. I don't want to press my luck if I want to tap it down. We'll chop it off. That's big enough, good enough. And uh, I will tap it in. Not hard, but a little bit right now. We'll turn it over. And I never really thought about that too much until just today that it would be nice to have a mechanics table that was ground or at least milled really nice and flat. That's not what I want. I want it over here. see where it fooled me because I did want the clamp actually on that side if I could. <clears throat> that was what I was thinking that way. I wanted to put the clamp over that bearing segment. <clears throat> Shouldn't really matter but sometimes we do stuff. So... Once I get started, I'll make it. Some things there's just no good to technique for. Yeah, it could have a snap on the end of the bit too, but I don't think it is. I think it's just catching. Yeah, it's no big deal. So now we're ready to start reaming again. And uh there was something I was thinking about the drilling. I started out stabilizing on the metal up here a little bit and then made it steeper. You know what it was. I don't know what the thought was. Moved things around. Where did there it is? And I don't know about where I want the reamer to set when I'm done doing this hole. I still will want to uh, take the reamer out now and then because I can clear out the flutes more. They're not really just clearing out on their own. That makes it so it doesn't cut as good when they get filled up. And it's not that that is my preferred or any kind of a special oil for what I'm doing here. It's just I felt like a little bit of something was good. It's not really where I need a heavy oil. I got trouble coming through. Yeah, the hole didn't line up all the way. Okay, I'm going 
I am going to just play because I know I need to go a little bigger anyway. I'm going to grab one size bigger drill. No, I'm not. I know the diameter of the next drill, but it's just too close to where our finish size is. I'm not going to do that. We'll run this back through. Don't ever do that. Bad to use a drill as a milling cutter. Now we're cutting. It's a good thing I didn't do that. Bad technique using a drill for a milling cutter. Can I actually blow those through. Also, there's chips. Is there any of my viewers from Kodiak? I haven't made my arrangements to go there yet, but planning to soon. October. And of course, this ain't no post for a few days anyway. You got a month. Yeah. I think I will get my tickets and room and stuff figured out tonight. Mm. I told him I'd let him know in a day or two if I was coming. Also needed them to confirm that it was Tuesday the 8th. Pretty much everything said the 8th, but some of the stuff said Wednesday the 8th. And the other stuff didn't say a day of the week, so I said, yeah. I better find out when this is for real. See, last time the socket was just down below this edge when it was right. Oh, okay. So we can cheat when we notice things are the same. Yeah, I always grab square drive sockets, eight point sockets, any of that when you see them at a garage sale or whatever. For pipe plugs, driving shafts, pieces of square stock, just there's so many things that they're good for. And a lot of times you just can't even hardly buy all the sizes you want new. I've, I mean, I've bought an awful lot of them off of the stamp on truck too. They don't always have all the sizes. I did have one out. Which was what I meant to have, because those are not all the same size. They're close, but some are a little bigger than others, yeah. So, uh, that's pretty close there. I could actually go slightly more with both, but, eh, there's no real need to. Should be good. It's just a secondary, keep it from moving in and out of the housing. I mean, it can't rotate. It's, it's tagged in there, but it can't rotate. That's just to keep it from moving lengthwise. And the only reason it moves lengthwise is if something hits it here, which it's supposed to be using this side of this as the thrust surface. So, um, yeah, reality. I put my tapper, that's right there. 
Probably ready for a drift and a bigger hammer at this point. But yeah, I might get. Should have been again further on. I'm gonna get a bigger hammer and a drift both. Other one was a test hammer. This is the real hammer. That sounded solid enough. Okay, and then when we cut those off, again, neat thing with the tapered pins is we'll have another brass tapered pin here because that's still a good pin. It's just a different size for a different fit up because they're the same taper all the way down. So cut those off, cut this off, grind a little below the surface. We'll give Austin a layout for the, uh, which is actually really easy for how to do the oil holes because I'll just hand him one of the other bearings as a sample. This one here, even though it has oil holes in it for the sliding up and down, that where the position where this bearing goes, it doesn't ever use those as far as it will, they'll get oiled, but uh, because it just locks in a place. There's, uh, it's got springs and these ones anyway lock into the frame. So these are the ones that are solid, and then the other two are sprung and move a little bit. They slide up and down, but all of them have the same uh, design here as far as locking it into the frame assembly, whether it's a moving one or a fixed one. There's a tapered wedge that goes in there. <laughs> 